Dear students and friends, welcome to my session on Arduino. In today's session, we will say about the pneumatic cylinder actuation and its control. We can call it as either pneumatic cylinder or air cylinder. Okay, now we will see the particulars about this pneumatic or air cylinder actuation control program. Using Arduino, we will be seeing that it is capable of exerting a force of 10 kg. What I am using now is capable of exerting a force of 10 kg. You can use it for any automation purposes. Pneumatic cylinders with different cap capacities are available in the market. Using this Arduino Nano board, you can design an automation system using number of pneumatic cylinders. Here in this Nano board, you can control maybe a maximum of 10 cylinders actually. Quite amazing, you know. Now, we will see the program. This is the program. The program is very simple. Here, I used uh, two sensors. One is the input one. For that, I used a line uh, follower sensor. The input two is a touch sensor. Uh, I wrote a program this way that if the line sensor is sensed, then the pneumatic cylinder will be on. That means it will move in the forward direction. Then to bring back the pneumatic cylinder or air cylinder into the home position, I use the touch sensor. If the touch sensor signal is sensed, then the uh, air cylinder will be retracting or going back to its home position. So this is the logic, right? It is a very simple program. Of course, this simple uh, this program is available uh, in the PDF file attached uh, in the description as link. Now we'll see the parts required. Uh, this is one uh, part that you definitely require for the pneumatic or the air cylinder setup. So it is a fiber to uh, two sides solenoid wall. Okay, so uh, it works either on 5 volt type or uh, 5 volt DC, 12 volt DC, 24 volt DC or 220 AC. Now I am using 220 volt AC type. Okay, so these are the part list I have listed. So Arduino Nano board, two way solenoid wall that I'll be showing now. Then uh, two types of uh, air cylinders I'll be using now. So this is one small air cylinder uh, bore, bore or the diameter is uh, uh, 20, uh, 20 mm and the stroke is uh, 75 mm. The other one, a bigger air cylinder, the bore is 25 mm, the diameter is 25 mm and the stroke is uh, 350 mm actually. So you can, I will be showing the demo using both, both this one as well as this one. Then uh, of course you need a, a, a 5 volt uh, high trigger relay board, uh, only one relay is sufficient for this particular project. Of course now my, since I have a 4 channel high trigger relay board, I am using this one, but I am using only one channel now. Now you can see the line sensor here. This is for switching on the circuit and this is, the, this is the touch sensor, it is to switching off the circuit, right? Of course, this is the nano board. So these are the uh, parts and the connection, okay? So it is available as PDF file, as I told you earlier. So a four channel relay, one channel is sufficient, of, of course, for this particular project. Okay, so the connection details are uh, given here. Again, it is very important that you have to use high trigger relay board otherwise again uh, you may end up with the short circuit the line follower sensor connection is given here the touch sensor connection is given here so this is the program the program already you have seen then uh, i run the program already there was no uh, there was no error it is only 3 percentage of its full capacity <coughs> now we'll see the working of uh, the pneumatic cylinder control of course you require uh, this uh, air compressor also because 
it is basically working on the pneumatic uh, principle right air compressed air air compressed air you require because it is a pneumatic cylinder or air cylinder this requires compressor okay so the connection is given already here uh, i think now you could see the the 5 by 2 solenoid wall a big air cylinder or pneumatic cylinder relay line follower touch sensor everything will be seeing so i gave the connection of uh, this uh, solenoid directly to the main supply okay one line of uh, one is uh, as far as main supply is concerned one is the line other one is the neutral okay maybe the line is can be given directly uh, the neutral can be directly given to uh, one wire in the solenoid the other can be connected through the relay board now we will see the thing in action this is about the small cylinder the only difference is uh, in the previous one i used a bigger cylinder here i used a smaller cylinder that's it okay so here from this you can understand that uh, if you have a compressed uh, compressor and a compressed air uh, you can uh, you can use any type of cylinder the uh, diameter the stroke is immaterial okay you can use a smallest air cylinder or the biggest air cylinder doesn't matter okay but the uh, this solenoid should be capable of uh, controlling and operating the air cylinder otherwise you have to go for a bigger solenoid that is the only point here right now we'll see it in action okay now we'll see it in see it in action you know you see here so now i i'm just holding the cylinder because uh, it is working on high pressure you know so because of the uh, the uh, inertia and uh, newton stadler law principle if i'm not holding it uh, it will be pushed this side right i'm just holding it so then the thing is if i uh, if the line for signal is sensed in the line follower this will move so you see there is a uh, plunger or a rod okay this will move that way now let me open now i am holding it now the first attempt th that is a line follow there is a touch sensor the rod will move in the outward direction first one first attempt since now you see that the movement of the rod then to return it back i use i press the touch sensor second attempt that's it now we'll see about the smaller cylinder i hope now i hold it now first attempt touch sensor now you see the movement now touch sensor return back second attempt line follower moving outward touch sensor moving back so this is how i made this particular program see like this like that you can you can uh, the program is here actually right program is available in the pdf so now as mentioned here different cylinders are different uh, capacities uh, of air cylinders or pneumatic cylinders are available in the market uh, the main parameters are the diameter bore or in the stroke okay so using this uh, you can uh, op you can operate and control uh, maximum of uh, 10 air cylinders in a single Arduino Nano board. Okay, so that's all for today. So in today's session, I uh, hope uh, you understood about uh, yes, we can control and we can operate the pneumatic or air cylinders using Arduino Nano. Okay, so subscribe my channel and uh, pass on this information to other students and. Uh, faculties so then they will also can get some input through my sessions thank you so much